everybody welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having an amazing day if you're not get ready to turn that ish around if you're new here and you haven't already hit that red subscribe button down below it's completely free become part of the family before you go today we're gonna start the day by making some lunch i have no idea what i'm gonna make yet but you guys said that you love seeing cooking and i like watching cooking so i'm gonna share with you guys what i end up making hopefully we come up with something good because i'm starving this camera you guys it's just so heavy if you guys haven't seen yet and if you're a fan of the podcast there is new merch out i'll have it linked down below i'm so excited uh it's not out yet real time in my life but i'm hoping that you guys are loving it i am so excited for you guys to see it so if you want to shop that go ahead and if you don't listen to the podcast i highly recommend if you want to go check it out if you didn't know i upload a podcast every monday and thursday at 5 a.m est is with my mother-in-law it's pretty entertaining we answer your guys' emails so if you want to send in an email it's podcast at gmail.com and you you might get your email right on the podcast. I'm actually gonna throw on my audiobook that I've been listening to. I mentioned this in my last video. I have been loving it recently. It has helped my mental health so much. The book that I've been listening to is called, excuse my French, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, and it's amazing. I really, really love it, and I've seen a lot of people recommend it. It's one of Zane's favorite books, too, and I've been re-listening, not re-listening to it. I've been listening to it, and he's been re-listening to it and just enjoying it so much. That's how much he loved that book, so I listen to it on Audible, which, if you're not familiar, it's basically a website or an app on your phone where you can listen to audiobooks, and they don't only have audiobooks. They have podcasts, guided wellness programs, or theatrical performances. Like, there's a lot of stuff on there, so if you're not interested in just audiobooks specifically, there's so much on there as well. But there's thousands of titles on there, so you can definitely find something that you like. But I highly recommend that book that I suggested. It is almost like life-changing. Like, I started listening to it, and I was just in a kind of a bad headspace that day, and it kind of just turned my day around and just helped so much. It was very motivating. So that's my personal favorite type of audiobooks. It's important to find something that you really resonate with, and that one, one of the reasons that I love it is because of the narrator. His voice, like, he changes it to, like, different voices. I don't know. It's just very entertaining. It's not like a bland reader, you know what I mean? So it keeps you, like, interested in what he has to say. I think the next one that I want to listen to is um, How to Be a Boss by Superwoman. She's a YouTuber and so many other things, but um, I think that one I'll also love too because like in my field, you know, I listened to the preview of it and I already loved it. So I'm excited. If you guys have uh, listened to that book, let me know. For me, it's really hard to want to take the time to sit down and just solely focus on reading a book. I like to be doing other things. So I listen while I'm driving and I listen while I'm cooking or doing my makeup. I just listen to it and now I'm about to listen while I make lunch. So I just think it's really amazing that it's so easy to get in information so quickly because I'm a pretty slow reader so reading the book would take me way longer than somebody reading it to me so I don't know I really resonate with it and it helps me so much and one of my favorite things is that you can actually download titles so if you know you're going somewhere without Wi-Fi or service you can still listen which is amazing so basically every month members get one credit for any title that they want and then they get two credits for audible originals and then you get access to the daily news digest as as well. So Audible is actually nice enough to let me offer you guys a free trial which includes a free download so you can download the book that I just told you guys about. I highly recommend you guys try it out. You can go to audible.com slash Alyssa Rose or you can text Alyssa Rose to 500 500. Click on that link that it texts you and you can sign up easily. I highly recommend. Go check it out and read that book. Go do it. I'm a little bit naughty. I'm a little bit too consumed But every part of my body Is telling me to run away from you Come a little bit closer Yeah, yeah Come a little bit closer Yeah You're a little bit crazy It's been days but you never change What's love got to do with it? He comes around better not that step down Come a little bit Alrighty, we made some chicken salad wraps. Looks pretty freaking good. One of my favorite things is using up like random things in the fridge and trying to make something out of it. I know that's really weird, but I don't know. It's just kind of satisfying for me. So I put some leftover salad in there. It was just lettuce, feta cheese, corn. And then the corn was seasoned with a shallot, lime juice, cilantro, stuff like that. And then I put a little bit of arugula, a little bit of spinach. I seasoned the chicken, used the wraps that we just bought. I don't know, especially when we're at like the end and we need to go grocery shopping. That's my favorite, trying to make something. But anyways, yeah, using the leftover salad in the wrap. I don't know, I think it's gonna be good. Sounds pretty good. Baby boo? Yeah? Lunch? Yeah. You better hurry up, I'm gonna eat without you. I'm 
I'm eating. I'm eating and you stink. I'm eating and you stink really bad. Hey guys. What is this, a wrap? Yeah. Looks yummy. It's a Melissa wrap. Careful, don't let it fall apart. Hold the bottom. I got all bread, hold on. It was all bread. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. It's really good. What's in here? Spinach? Mm hmm. Corn? Mm hmm. Chicken salad? Mm hmm. It's really good. You like it? What'd you do for the chicken salad? Everything. <laughs> what do you mean? What? Salt, pepper, paprika, garlic, onion. Really good. A little bit of red pepper flakes. I want this more. What do you mean? You gotta teach me how to make this. Okay. Look at that. Yummy. Excuse me. What kind of party is going on in here without us? You didn't invite us? It's messed up. That was scrumptious. Now I got my snack, my little veggie sticks. Zaya actually really Zaya 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 huh? actually really wants to grab some Instagram pictures, so I'm gonna go play photographer for a little bit. I know damn well that we're gonna be taking pictures outside, and I hate the cold, and I'm gonna get probably frustrated in the cold. So the 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 probability of me being able to vlog and also take pictures of him is very unlikely. So. We're gonna go take pictures of him. You guys will see it on his Instagram. I'll leave it down below. And I am gonna show you guys when we get back home. Oh, wow, that was fast, was it not, you guys? Got some fire pictures, and we're back home. Hey, bub, I saw this funny thing on TikTok. Can I do it for, with you? Or for you? To you? What? Yeah, what is it? It's like a, um, kind of like a riddle. But I have to set it up and you can't watch. Okay. Okay. Where are you gonna be right now? I'm gonna go to the office. Okay, I'm going in the bedroom. Okay. Okay, I'll let you know when I'm ready. Right, Don't baby. listen. I won't. Okay, put in your headphones. Okay. <laughs> okay, everyone, I have to talk quietly. I'm obviously not doing a TikTok thing, as you can tell by the title. Okay, I'm gonna try and make this short and sweet. Hopefully you can hear me. Zane and I's favorite comedian is Chris Delia. Honestly, one of those people. Wow, this is a so much better tone. I'm so sorry. If I'm gonna go see an event, I would rather spend an extra whatever to get really good seats. Hence why I spent so much money on Billie Eilish tickets, but I'm so fucking excited. So, especially for something like this, Zane and I love comedy. We love Crystalia. I wanted to splurge and get really good seats. So, I did it literally this morning. So I couldn't think of a super cute way to surprise him, so I told him we were gonna do like a TikTok riddle. He has no idea. I know he has no idea because we didn't talk about it after he mentioned Cristalia going to see him, and there's no like holidays coming up, so this is just a random gift, cause why not? And I've been telling him that like, I really wanna travel more, and I know that over the summer we were saying maybe we'll go to Atlantic City and go see a show or something. So this is a perfect opportunity. The show is at the end of July. It's gonna be nice out. We can go have like a little mini vacation, stay for a few nights in Atlantic City, gamble, drink, go see a comedy show. He's gonna be so excited. I'm telling you guys, he loves him. Watch He watches the podcast all the time. We were just listening to him the other day, so last minute what I decided since he thinks it's gonna be a riddle. I found like this scrapbook paper that I'm never gonna use. So on each page, I'm gonna write like a sentence out and I'll show you guys as I write it and he'll just open one by one. I could have done something cuter, but like, this is fine. Let's do this. Yeah, yeah, come a little bit closer. Yeah, to all my ladies who got a brother that doesn't treat them right. Put your finger right in his face and tell that man bye bye. I'm too fly, I'm too fly. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. You're a little bit selfish. 
You get mad every time you lose You can't take me with you I'm scared you're gonna blow your fuse Come a little bit closer Yeah I can really start over Yeah In the back of my mind There's someone waiting on me You're just wasting my time Because you're scared and lonely Finally got some closure yeah, we just gotta get good lighting. Dude, these came out really, really good. The pictures? Yeah. Yeah? I love that lens, and when I was messing with the settings... And your girlfriend's just so talented. Well, I was getting that too. You killed it. <laughs> you coming? Oh. Coming. I hope you didn't see this TikTok already. You don't go on TikTok without me, right? No, not really. Oh, so you wouldn't have seen it. Is it like comedy? Yeah. Okay. You have to like, pay close attention. Alright, I'm here for it. Okay, you have to open an order. I'm opening stuff? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's a riddle, I said. Okay. Okay, it's numbered. So you just go one by one. Okay. Okay, go. Look how satisfying. I can't believe you went to like this extent to make something. <laughs> okay, on. On. July. Or is this gonna be like a secret? Are you like dropping news on me? It's a TikTok. It's a TikTok? Okay. Yeah, on July 24th, we're having a baby. I, I don't know. On July, you booked me something? I don't know. Imagine? That'd be nice. That'd be on nice July of me. July 24th. Are paying attention? Yeah, on July 24th. You can't go back in those once you continue on. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. On July 24th, we. This is getting mad size. I'm suspicious. You pulled too many of these on me. On July 24th, we what? are on July 20. What was it, 4th or 5th? Can't go back. I think it's 4th. On July 24th, we are going. Oh god, what am I getting myself into? What's happening? Hey, it's a TikTok. We are going to Atlantic City. This is not a TikTok. <laughs> Why are we going to Atlantic City? To. <laughs> oh my goodness. To see. Why are you doing this to me? What did you do, baby? Chris. Delia. Delia! You can't say his name wrong. I always say his name wrong by accident. Love you. XO. Oh, by the way, we're fifth row? Wait, is this all for real? I'm confused. So, is this a take? To like, what? <laughs> no, I just wanted to surprise you in some way. <laughs> Wait, what? For why? Just cuz? <laughs> Give me deeds, tell me what, how, why? What made you do this Because he said the other day we should go see Chris D'Elia. Uh huh. And so I looked up this morning and he wasn't coming to New York, but he was going to Atlantic City. And I literally said that I wanted to go to Atlantic City together in the yeah. summer. And so. So July 24th? Yeah. Fifth row? Yeah, I bought them this morning. <laughs> what? When did you do that? This morning. Like Thank when? You. When I was sleeping or something? Uh, no. I was working. Yeah, I was editing. And like, you actually were like, babe, and you came to walk in and I was like, how to exit everything. You wanna so go? Sweet, of course. That's gonna be so much fun. Are you kidding me? You little sneak. You're so fucking sweet. Baby. You excited? It's funny because like, I knew something was up. How? When you said you wanted to do a TikTok on me, then you came in with all this, I'm like, Here You do? I felt like you were surprising me with something. Babe. <laughs> You're so sweet. It's gonna be fun. We can make like a thing of it. We'll go for like two, yeah. two three days. No, that's gonna be so much fun. Are you kidding me? July, at the end of July, it'll be beautiful out. It's gonna be so nice, July. We can yeah. go, go gamble a little, have some drinks. We'll go to our show, go to a nice dinner. I don't know about gambling. Maybe not gambling. Maybe. But that's so much fun. That's awesome. Remember I said the other day, I was like, we can go to Lake City and we can like go to a show and get drinks. And now we're going to see Chris fucking Dulia. I'm so stoked. You wanna see the venue? Yes. So we're 300, fifth row. What? It's so close. This is it. That's sick. So yeah, oh we're my God. fifth row right hey, that's here. That's so close. Yeah. What a like unexpected surprise. And I for know, nothing. I was, I was looking at like, what's like the next holiday? Like there's not. Like, I was I, gonna say like. I could wait for like St. Patrick's Day, but like we don't. Yeah, we can go to a really good restaurant. We're going to like a. Uh, we can get what wet willies. place? I, for sure. We're getting wet willies. What was that place? The beer garden or something that your parents yes. went to? We can go like there. Yeah, it'll be nice out. That is so much fun. What a like 
unexpected surprise. Wait, that's so awesome. I don't like, this is so weird. You're like, not processing? So unexpected. No processing. Remember, it's so we awesome. Were, we were in the car on the way home from taking pictures and he like said something mean to me and I was like, you should take that back. And he was like, yeah, should I? And I was like, yeah, you should take that back. And he's like, wait, I take it back, I guess. Wait. And then I was like, said, do you guess? When she said I said something mean to her, we like. It was a joke. Yeah, I'm we're joking. like funny sarcastic. I wasn't actually being a dickhead to her. Mm -hmm. And then you Woo, said. That's so fun. And then I. And I'm then, so pumped actually. Yeah. That's so dope. I'm like, I just wasn't expecting that. Mm -hmm. It's kind of far away, but like not that far away. July? No. The end of July. I mean, though. it is, but like also that gives us something to look forward to. And then we'll like forget about it. And then when it comes like, up, oh, like, oh shit, we're going to Atlantic City. Yeah. Be excited. That's so sweet of you. So unexpected. All right, well, we're going to make celebratory dinner. Celebrating the surprise and just wanting dinner because we're hungry. And this is happening. <laughs> I don't understand. I put it on the same heat all the time. <laughs> sometimes it smokes like crazy, sometimes it doesn't. It was just too hot, the cast iron. But I literally use the same temperature all the time. Maybe it heated up too much. We opened the screen to the door. <laughs> we will get a good dinner out of this. Okay, we got this. I'm making french fries in the air fryer. They're almost done. This is ridiculous. And I'm also making asparagus in the oven. We've made this steak so many times and this does not happen every time. The camera is not even doing it justice. It's so smoky in here. Wow, babe, I knew we could do it. High five. We made a nice comeback. Good, given the circumstances. <laughs> the steak is a little overcooked for our liking, but we made it out alive. That's all that matters. <laughs> yeah, literally made it out alive. I rushed making the asparagus too, so I didn't cut off the hard ends, so they're still on there, but we got fries, asparagus, steak. I'm so excited. We're going to watch Lock and Key. That's a show that Zane and I have been watching recently. We're only on episode two, but three, but so far so good. Yeah, I can finally start over. Yeah. So all my ladies who got a brother that doesn't treat them right, put your finger right in his face and tell that man bye-bye. I'm too fly. I'm too fly Bye 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 Here's to the memories Cheers to who used to be Your friend said that you left me I'm glad that's what you believe me Ladies who got a brother that doesn't treat them right Put your finger right in his face and tell that man bye-bye I'm too fly recipe online where you just make the apples on the stove and then you just put them in a bowl with ice cream and top it with whatever you want so I kind of mix that with like apple crisp in a way I softened them on the stove so that it didn't take an hour in the oven and then once they were softened I put them in a oven safe bowl and then I topped it with oats brown sugar and a little bit of butter all I did to the apples in the pan was a little bit of water and cinnamon and then yeah I just put it in the oven on bake 350 for like five minutes and then I broiled it on 480 for like probably believe six minutes obviously everyone's oven is different but that's what i did topped it with some vanilla ice cream i'm pumped he's sneaking on in what do we got here i don't know i hope it's good i mean it looks delicious it's gonna be hot 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 hot, hot, hot. <laughs> this looks so good babe it's gonna be really hot careful mm. give me the deets babe yeah, it's good. Does it taste like lose. apple crisp? Yeah. Okay. I wanted to put a little bit of regular sugar in with the apples. I just forgot. So I topped it with brown sugar, but I don't know if that's enough. Although there's ice cream, so that's sugary too. Oh, yeah. It's sugary enough? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm glad you like it. I would definitely say that my forte is more on the cooking side rather than the baking side, but I do make some pretty mean chocolate chip cookies. I'll give myself that. But And actually, I'm pretty good at apple crisp, and I can make some pretty good cheesecake. I take it back. I think I can decently bake. Oh, my God. That is good. One of my favorite thing with desserts is a hot dessert and then a cold ice cream. So bomb. You guys should totally try this out. I guess I kind of just made it up. I'm not really sure, but it's good. Try it. And so easy too. You guys, I am exhausted and I've got a podcast to do early in the morning. So I have to go. 
I'm so tired. Today's notification shout out goes to McKinley Boydston. Thank you so much for watching. You were the first comment on my video today. So thank you so much for being a part of the notification squad. I love you so very much. If anyone else would like a notification shout out, comment down below, letting me know the end my notifications turned on and you might be in my next video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye guys. To fly,